Channel's television social enterprise show, Fund It Forward, is gradually winding down, and in the next two episodes, a winner will be announced at the official grand finale of the show. The reality program, designed to nurture the next generation of social enterprises driven by Nigerian youth, features 12 young entrepreneurs who will eventually be trimmed to the top three, and each will receive prize packages according to their final rankings. As part of activities lined up ahead of the grand finale, the Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of Financial Derivatives Company Limited, Mr. Bismarck Rowani, who held a masterclass session with the young entrepreneurs, said he's impressed with the quality of individuals competing for the grand prize in the channel's television's original television series. I think they're all very good, and uh, I'm not to make a judgment. Uh, each of them had their strengths, but the one thing I noticed was the willingness and ability and keenness to learn. But when you see people who are smart and are willing to ask questions, it tells you that there's a lot more for them to get to the ceiling. So I, I was very impressed, and it gave me a lot of hope for young Nigerians and the Asian Nigeria of the future. I was pleasantly surprised, right? It was like I preaching to the choir. The reality is that these were already people, and they've been in this class for a long time. These are people that are grounded because they have many models, and then the finance model is the last model. So what, did we, what we tried to emphasize was, one, the impact of external policy on their business, the impact of competitor moves on their business, the fact that there's a link between political policy and market views, and more than anything else, there's an integration between the Nigerian economy and the rest of the global economy. Every success story is bound to be copied, cloned. So it means that as long as you are successful, right, other people are going to come into the business. And the more people are in the business, the more the intensity of rivalry. And that reduces your profit margins and makes it difficult to survive. So for you to survive, you have to reinvent yourself from time to time and not rest on your laurels. I think that, uh, that, that was very important. But I also try to emphasize the, the, exo the impact of exogenous risks. There could be a policy change. The, you could be producing from a particular location, and all of a sudden, you hear on the news that that road has been blocked for the next six months for, for repairs. All of a sudden, your goods cannot get to the market. So I'm, I emphasize that. Please, whilst you may be good as a technocrat in what you're doing, please always listen to the news.